What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be reacting to top 10 most dangerous animals in the US. This was recommended by a viewer. Commented down below. Her name is Murray20. So thank you very much for the suggestion. We're going to go ahead and react to it right now. Enjoy the video. Number 10. Grizzly bear. Starting straight American off the bat brown bears with a grizzly. Have a fearsome reputation to go with their physical prowess and outstanding natural weaponry. The common name, grizzly, is often used in reference to brown bear species found in the US. These include the Ursus arctus horribilis or the mainland grizzly, the I'm say, bit grizzly of a mouthful. and Kodiak bears, only found in Alaska's eponymous archipelago. The latter Rivals the polar bear some as really, the largest uh, land carnivore on Some really creepy music going on in this. Earth. Kodiak bears have been known to weigh over 1,500 pounds, which is almost as heavy as the average bull. As evident from the prominent okay. muscular hump on nice. their shoulders, grizzlies are built for power. Moreover, they have massive canines, you don't say. claws that grow up to six inches, and jaws strong enough to crush bowling balls. As a grizzly stands up on its hind legs, it will often use its superior strength to take down a victim. It will bite at the victim's lower jaw, which is most likely a disarming technique. Confrontations between humans and grizzly bears can occur as a result of hunting as well as camping. I'm not sure if these are in any order. I'm I'm guessing they're like gonna so the tenth one, the the bears, is that maybe the lowest in terms of how many people they like kill? Or something. They have a phenomenal sense of smell and are often attracted I thought to food quite that high, but maybe it's not. Properly. There have been several reports of campers being dragged out of their tents by attacking grizzlies. Oh, it's probably just because it's the one that you hear the most about when it happens. Conditioning the bears to campsite food maybe it doesn't happen can that often, to human presence, thus increasing the likelihood of future attacks. Number nine, spiders. Black widows and brown recluse spiders mm. share an entry on our list as the most dangerous spiders in. I'm not remotely scared of spiders whatsoever, but I'm from England, so we don't really have uh, <laughs> that many, um, that much variety of a spider. There's probably spiders all around me right now, but the it's quite warm weather, so they normally come inside. Um, but yeah, spiders don't bother me, but these ones definitely would. In the US. Female black widows, distinguishable by the red hourglass mark on their abdomens, are the most fearsome by reputation. We don't have spiders with butts that big, that's for sure. After mating, Daddy long legs is about all we get. Toxic venom. The illness associated with black widow envenomation is called latrodectism. It's described by pain, vomiting, and muscle rigidity. Contrary to popular belief, the condition is rarely fatal for humans. The brown recluse spider, although only slightly larger. Nah, nah, that's not staying. It's not staying alive around me for long. If I saw in one of them, no. Than the U.S. pen <laughs> is quite dangerous in its own right. The hemotoxic properties of its venom can cause tissue necrosis. Severe lesions can become infected and may even lead to amputation. Yet, nah. like the black widows, given, the bite of a brown recluse given spider shivers. is seldom fatal. <laughs> Number eight, cougar. A cougar. Cougars, also known as pumas or mountain lions, have the widest distribution of any wild animal in the Americas. Are they not like really rare? I thought they were really, like really rare. Like rarer to see one of those than a bear, maybe not? I'm not sure. In the US, populations are found across 16 states, mostly on the west coast. Male cougars average about 150 pounds, but in rare cases may surpass 200 pounds. Even though that's about the weight of the average American male, the difference in power <laughs> is considerable. Relative to its size, the cougar has the largest paws and hind legs found within the feline family. This enables it to perform outstanding leaps and reach sprinting speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, which is actually faster than a greyhound. Wow. It can also swim and is an apt climber. A cougar's muscular body is perfectly designed. Yeah, that is a... Uh, that's one muscular boy, that. I'll go. Whatever it is. For grasping and holding large prey. Or maybe it doesn't identify as anything. 
an ability enhanced by the retractable claws on its paws. Attacks on humans are rare, but have seen an increase in recent years, mainly due to expansion into the cougar's natural range. The feline will attack if cornered or if a human triggers its chase instinct, typically by turning their back and running away. An attack usually involves a bite to the neck, in which the animal tries nice. to sink its teeth between the vertebrae and into the spinal cord. So it knows Children exactly where to go for you then. the greatest risk of getting ambushed by a cougar, and the least likely to survive an attack. Number seven, gray wolf. As the largest and strongest member of the Canidae family, the gray wolf was a mandatory introduction to our list. Yeah, I've always, I watch a lot of, um, like, wilderness videos, you know, people getting stranded and stuff, and you always hear of getting attacked by wolves. I would have thought that would have been a lot more common, to be honest, so it was at number five on the list. I would have thought it would be higher up. Its teeth are specialised for crushing bone, and its slender, powerfully built body favours relentless attacks. Although dangerous enough on its own, the wolf is notable for its pack behaviour and cooperative hunting. A pack of 15 wolves, for example, is capable of taking down an adult moose. Interestingly enough, the deer species can easily grow to be 15 times heavier than an individual wolf. While not as numerous as in Eurasia, North America has also seen a number of wolf attacks. The most recent fatality occurred in 2010 in Alaska, when a young woman was killed while jogging. There's an argument that most wolf attacks are the result of an individual animal suffering from rabies. Nevertheless, wolf management programs from the United States Wildlife Service describe them as opportunistic hunters that will attack humans if given the chance. Throughout the years, encounters with hunters, shepherds, and ranchers have caused wolves to develop a fear of approaching humans. Yet wildlife experts warn against actions that may encourage wolves to be in the proximity of people as it may lead to an increase in violent encounters. Number six, Arizona Bark Scorpion. The Arizona Bark Scorpion. What on earth is going on in that picture? Has that got like... Yeah, I'm gonna just press play, I don't even know what's going on there. It looks also horrible known though. as Centuroids sculpturatus is North America's most venomous scorpion. These creatures prefer riparian areas, meaning that they're found on land adjacent to rivers or streams. The popularity of irrigated lawns and other man-made water systems have led to an increase of scorpion populations in residential areas. Oh, no. The symptoms associated with the Arizona bark scorpion No thanks, sting going in your own garden and one of them things being, being around. Two hours. They include intense pain, numbness and convulsions or temporary dysfunction of the affected area. The pain is so intense that victims reported experiencing sensations similar to electric shocks. While fatalities are rare, there are certain groups that are more at risk than others, such as children, the elderly, or people with compromised immune systems. In Arizona, thousands of people are reportedly stung by the scorpion each year. Number five. Yeah, no thanks to that one. Shark. With the Atlantic Ocean on its east coast and the Pacific Ocean in the west, the US faces more than a dozen shark attacks every year. While the Great White receives the brunt of the notoriety, there's an equally, if not more, dangerous shark. Unlike their mainly oceanic relatives. If this lists in like a ranking order of deaths, then I'm, it can't be because I'm very shocked that sharks all the way up here because shark attacks are supposed to be incredibly rare. Bull sharks are able to thrive in freshwater systems as well. This makes them particularly dangerous when considering the US's sprawling riverways. Bull sharks have been found up the Mississippi River. Hundreds of Oh, these are in rivers. What? Okay. I wonder where they're swimming in from then. Miles from the ocean. They were also spotted in the Ohio River and in Maryland's Potomac River. These creatures have pound per pound the most powerful bite of all the shark species. I'm picturing like an English river in my head. English rivers aren't that big, so I'm, gu I'm guessing the rivers that he's talking about here are absolutely enormous. Jeez. There's a combination of factors that make them particularly dangerous towards humans. It's not only about bite force and size. Even though females average roughly 300 pounds or about as much as the typical sumo wrestler, 
Bull sharks are territorial, temperamental. Bull sharks are as big as sumo, <laughs> so it's a good no comparison. For provocation. These creatures might have even been responsible for the infamous Jersey Shore shark attacks of 1916, which is that Jaws? Inspiration for the novel. Oh well, Jaws. Yeah. Number four. Okay. Rattlesnake. By recent estimates, there are roughly 7,000 to 8,000 snake bites that occur in the United States every year. Fortunately, the development of antivenom has led to significantly less fatalities than in the past. Snake attacks are disproportionate in the country, with the majority of them occurring in warm weather states such as Texas and Florida. Among the various venom and serpents found across the land, there are about 16 rattlesnake species. I'm not that bothered about snakes, but I've not really dealt with them either. There's only like two snakes that I've ever seen in real life. Or not in, I don't mean like in captivity, but wild at least. Um, yeah, there's def there's not many. And well, I don't know. I think there is only one harmless snake. I'm not going to even attempt to tell you what it is because I don't know what it is. But I think there's only one that that's venomous These in the UK. These creatures are so dreaded that a timber rattlesnake was once put on a flag to motivate infantry forces. During the American Revolution, the Continental Marines had a motto flag of a timber rattlesnake that was coiled and ready to strike. Beneath it were the words, don't tread on me. These snakes are distinguishable by the rattle at the end of their tail. It's made of interlocked keratinous segments which vibrate against one another when the snake contracts certain tail muscles. This produces a distinctive rattling sound that acts as a deterrent to predators and as a warning to humans. The Western Diamondback and the Eastern Diamondback are the species responsible for most snake bite fatalities. The latter is known as the most venomous snake in North America and owns the longest fangs of any rattlesnake wow. species. They're massive. Number three, deer. Deer, did he just say? Deer may sound less terrifying than other animals on our list, but statistically speaking, they're the deadliest. A number what? of species weigh several hundred pounds and certainly possess the mass to trample people to death. Males own majestic antlers, some of which are several feet across and definitely capable of inflicting severe injuries. I've never ever heard of anyone dying to a deer. However, fatal antler stabbings or brutal trampling isn't what makes the deer the deadliest creatures in the country. Most will simply choose to run away from humans rather than engage them. That's actually... See, that looks more like what I would think is a deer. At least the ones that we see. The ones that we see uh, where I'm from. In fact, just above me there, I've just put a little reference to where I'm from. That's um, the... Uh, it's... The blue, the blue marker is where I'm from. I live right on the Scottish border, um, top northwest of England. The crux of the matter. Uh, yeah, the deers, the deers we get around here are a lot smaller than the ones that are on the, these pictures. As deer move across their range, they end up on roadways or highways. Ah, uh, okay. And collide with vehicles. Right. In the US, this type of collision causes about. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't imagine a deer, like, just charging someone down and killing them. But, yeah, it makes sense now in the form of road traffic accidents. 200 human deaths and roughly $1 billion in property damage every year. It's so widespread that the idea of being surprised oh, it's got a, broken leg. a deer in the headlights has become a saying. While easier to avoid during the day, deer are particularly difficult to spot at dusk or dawn. Habitat fragmentation is a considerable factor in the rise of deer vehicle collisions. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower at Ryan Thompson 5499. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number two, American bison. The American bison is North America's Look at the size of that nature's thing. equivalent of a gigantic battering ram. Its charge, a devastating combination of mass and speed, is powerful enough to derail a train. What? Also known as the buffalo, okay. the species of bulls can weigh up to 2,800 pounds in the wild and a staggering 3,800 pounds in captivity. That's about as heavy as the average car. That's they insane. They own massive heads 
pronounced muscular. <laughs> just say they own massive heads. <laughs> they certainly do. Muscular humps and giant forequarters. Their short, curved horns are used as defensive weapons and to fight for status within the herd. Despite its mass and seemingly lethargic movements, a charging bison can get up to 40 miles per hour. 40 miles an hour, that thing. Usain Bolt's speed record topped out at 27.8 miles per hour. Jesus. These creatures How the hell does something that weighs 2,000 pounds get up to 40 miles an hour? Instead of bovine diseases from domestic cattle and commercial hunting brought the creatures to the brink of extinction. Got one hell of an afro. 60 million in the late 18th century to only a few hundred thousand towards the end of the 19th century. Recovery efforts speared its extinction, and the American bison is now mainly restricted to reserves and national parks. That's where a number of violent humans... I've never seen a bison in real life, but the only thing I can uh, like compare it to in my head is we have something called... I think they're called a Highland cow. Um, I'll put one on screen. I'll get a picture of when I, when I edit the video, but they're kind of similar looking, just as big. Well, they're not they're not as big, and I definitely don't think they weigh as much, but yeah, the, they're as beefy looking at least. Human encounters have occurred in the past decades. From 1980 to 1999, at Yellowstone National Park alone, bison attacked three times more people than bears. During this period, there were three reported fatalities, in addition to numerous reports of puncture wounds and broken bones. Official They Nasty. Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. Some of it is to die for. Number one, moose. Even though they're part of the deer family, and even though they get in a fair share of vehicle collisions, moose most definitely deserve their own entry. It's the ones that I didn't think would be as high up this list that actually are, the deer and moose. I guess moose is maybe the same thing. Um, cross on the road. On our list. They're creatures of many extremes, as the largest and heaviest of all deer species. Exceptional bulls stand more than six foot nine inches at the shoulder, meaning they're taller than NBA superstar LeBron James. Their massive antlers can span close to six Looks feet like wings. from tip to tip, so you could horizontally fit the average American male between them. The largest bulls weigh close to 2,000 pounds, almost twice as much as a grand piano. Moose are not only monsters in terms of proportion, but also temperament. When it comes to raw data, they attack more people than wolves and bears combined. They're also perfectly capable of killing both predatory species. They injure more humans than any other animal in the Americas, and are second only to hippos in worldwide attacks. They can charge people and inflict devastating injuries with their antlers. One common sign of an imminent charge is that the hairs on its neck and shoulders will stand up. Moose are surprisingly limber and unlike other large hooved animals, they can kick in all directions. Not that you should ever do it, hmm. but this means there's no safe way to approach them. A question would be off the back of this video, what is the craziest encounter you've had with a wild animal in the States? Um, or anywhere for that matter. Thank you very much for watching guys. The link to this video that we watched today will be down below as always. Um, as you can see above me, they are my channel stats. I'm at currently at 510 subscribers. I'm just trying to get a humble thousand subscribers. I, I think it'd be really cool to have. So if you feel like helping me out with, with that journey, then please just hit that red button below and I will forever appreciate it. And if you would like to suggest any video that you want me to react to, then please just drop that in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Bye now.